Are the classes hard? What should I wear? Are the teachers mean? What was your favorite class? Are my friends going to change? What is in your backpack? How do I find my classes? How do you tell your crush you like them? Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you guys middle school advice that I'm going to be bringing with me to high school next year. In the fall, I'm going to be a freshman, so I'm super excited, but also pretty scared. Honestly, that word is like so weird, like a freshman, like a fresh man, like. I'm gonna be a fresh man. <laughs> I'm gonna be giving you guys advice from everything from like the actual school part to friends, to relationships, to all sorts of stuff. And all of my advice is not just for middle schoolers. You can use this advice at like pretty much any age, but I am going to be giving you guys advice on things I wish I knew before starting middle school and what I've learned. I feel like a big sister today. This is so exciting. I'm the youngest, so like I don't get to do these things. Let's get into it. The first category is school and the first question is how do periods work? So basically in elementary school, you have like one class, one teacher, and you just stay there for the entire day. But when you go to middle school, you start going to different periods. So you have a science teacher, a math teacher, an English teacher. And so they're also going to be all in different classes. They don't come to you. You go to different places, but you get like a five minute break to like go to the next class and you won't be with the same people when you go to different periods you'll be like splitting up it's not gonna be the entire class moving it's gonna be just you each period is usually like 45 minutes to an hour the next question is how do I find my classes or like what if I get lost what I would recommend is touring the school ahead of time maybe like a week ahead or like I don't know even a day ahead just so that you can like map out the school and like know your way around and not get like confused the next question is are the classes is hard. This really depends on the person. I know every single person has different like strong points. I found some of the classes challenging but none of them really difficult to the point where I was like stressing out and just feeling like so nervous. It really just depends on the person. You might find classes easy. You might find them difficult in both ways are okay. My advice for this would just be to pay attention and always try your best because if you're trying your very very best then you cannot fail because you can do anything you put your mind to. It's also important that your teachers know that you are putting your best foot forward and that you're trying your best. The next question is, are the teachers mean? I didn't have any mean teachers. Mine were all super nice, but it does depend on the person. You might get some teachers that are sort of grumpy. You might get some that are super nice, but I think it's important to just be nice to everyone. The next question is, how do you organize everything? So I recommend you write a list, whether that's just on like paper or on your notes on your phone. Just like write down all of your homework assignments and be very, very specific. Like write down as much as the teacher tells you, the date that it's due, how how many paragraphs like everything because this way you don't have to like ask your classmates like what's the assignment or the teacher you can also print out your daily schedule and then like put it in the front of your binder so that you like never use it and it's always in the never use it, never lose it. <laughs> Next question is what was your favorite class and what was your least favorite class? My favorite class was probably English, just like throughout all of middle school. English is definitely something I love to do. I literally write books for fun. Like writing is like such a fun activity and reading. So that was my personal favorite. My least favorite would be, I don't really I don't really have like a least favorite, but I guess I would just say math because it wasn't that math was hard It's just that it was kind of challenging, but it's not too hard and you get the hang of it The next question is what is in your backpack? So I think I'm gonna do a what's in my backpack video at the end of summer before school starts So subscribe down below all of that fun stuff so that you'll be notified The next question is what should I wear? Honestly, you can't go wrong with leggings and a t-shirt or like a sweatshirt in the colder season You can also wear like jeans and a t-shirt. I might be coming out with a school outfit ideas video in the late summer so subscribe I know some girls that wear sportier clothes I know some girls that wear more like glam clothes literally every single person is different so just wear what you feel confident in wear what you feel comfortable in and just wear it like a boss now I'm gonna get into some tips I have for you guys number one would be to maintain your sleep schedule I need to work on this but it definitely definitely helps to feel rested and you can focus better like it literally just helps everything I also recommend you have a night and morning routine planned out it doesn't even have to be anything big but just like a simple routine so that you just feel like super organized and this is a big one I recommend that you set your outfits out the night before I take literally so long to pick out an outfit I don't even know why <laughs> this is a tip for lunchtime just pick like one friend at lunch you can have like a meeting spot so whether it's like I don't know meet me by this street or meet me by the benches it's just good because then you won't have to like find your friend in a crowd one last tip that I have is if you just like want alone time and you want to be peaceful go to the library because it's always peaceful peaceful and quiet and you can just take a breather and recharge. The next category we're going to talk about is friends. The first question
question is, are my friends going to change? I know a lot of people say that your friendship totally changes from when you go in to middle school from when you come out. For most people, I would say that that is true. However, I have a lot of friends from a lot of different places because I've moved a bunch of times. So my friendships haven't really changed. I still have the same friends. I do feel like that is rare though. And at most middle schools, multiple different elementary schools coming to the same middle school. So you will meet a lot of new people probably, which gives a big wide range for new friendships to happen. So that's something to look forward to. The next question is how do I make new friends? So I know it can be intimidating to just like go up to someone and be like, Hi! That's why I have like a few different strategies I like to go to when I'm like trying to meet someone new. First, I would recommend just saying hi and like maybe giving them a compliment or talking about something that you have in common. And if they're wearing a shirt with like your favorite movie on it or something, you can be like, I like Star Wars too, like pfft. Then you can just like talk about that and then it'll just like lead to different conversations. If you join a sport, then you're automatically like surrounded by a bunch of people that play the exact same sport as you. So if you join like a soccer team, you can ask them, how long have you been doing soccer? What's your favorite thing about soccer? What's your favorite position to play? I don't know anything about sports. And if you're like me and you're not coordinated enough to do sports, then you can join like an acting club, gardening club, book club. I don't even know. There's so many clubs. Again, you will be surrounded by a bunch of people that share an interest with you. So that definitely lays the foundation for a friendship. I don't even know. That's not the foundation, but it's like a good place to start. And another thing that I recommend you guys do, which this is kind of like for friendships, but also for scheduling, is don't sign up for too much at one time. Maybe just start with like one class, and then if you feel up to it, then you can join more things. The next category is drama, rumors, and gossiping. First off, if you are not already in drama, don't get into it. It's just best to stay out of it because I've never seen anything good come out of drama, so I wouldn't recommend you just throw yourself right into it <laughs> and if you do somehow get into drama I just recommend you be the bigger person and you try to solve whatever problem that it is gossiping and rumors um don't do it just don't gossip don't spread rumors don't make rumors again nothing good can come out of it so I just don't recommend you do it also if there's like drama going around the school of like someone else don't like invest yourself in it so much that like you don't have like time for your own homework or you just get like distracted and stuff because it's not really gonna get you any Anywhere. The next category is bullying and mean girls. So first off, don't be a bully. Don't be a mean girl. You will get way more friends by being a nice, warm, friendly person than just like picking on someone. If you are getting bullied, then you should tell your parents or a trusted adult about the situation. And if you see someone else getting bullied, again, tell a parent or a trusted adult. And sometimes people can be mean. Don't let them break down your wall. Don't let it get to you. Don't let their rude comments get to you because you are amazing. You are so loved. You are so beautiful and you are just awesome. And just let it go away. Just don't think about it throw those comments in the trash of your mind and just focus on the good, happy things of life. The next category is relationships and dating. I know a lot of people start dating in middle school. I've never been in a relationship. I don't plan on getting into a relationship for a very long time. I personally would only date someone if I potentially see a long future with them, like marrying them, even though you're in middle school. <laughs> I just feel like I wanna focus on my school. I wanna focus on my friends. I wanna focus on my family. and I want to focus on my career but some people feel differently some people think it's fun and as long as it's okay with your parents to date then I would say do whatever you want but I personally am not ready to date for a long time I'm talking like college and another question is do relationships last a lot of middle school relationships tend to not last there might be like that one couple that just like dates to like high school and beyond and just literally eventually gets married it does depend on the person another question is how do you tell your crush that you like them. I guess it really just again depends on the person. Some people are super super bold. The next thing is confidence. I feel like middle school is when a lot of people's confidence goes up and a lot of people's confidence gets shattered. If you don't have good confidence already then you need to build yourself up because you are amazing. You are so loved. You have so many people that just love you and that just want to hang out with you because you're so cool. A big tip for confidence is don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare yourself to people online. Don't compare yourself to people in your school. Just don't compare yourself because you are you, you are special, you are here for a reason, and you are beautiful and amazing. Remember that literally 
Every single person has an insecurity whether they say it or not. We are all different and that's amazing. Now I'm just gonna get into like a random category of just like some things that I wanted to talk about before you go and head into middle school. The first question is what was my favorite part about middle school? I think what I like the most about it is that in middle school you're kind of at that fun preteen stage which is awesome because you can do like kid things but also do like teen things at the same time. I know some people struggle with this and think they're too old for some things and too young for other things but honestly I was the opposite I was like I can do both I can be on social media like a teenager but then I can also do some kid things that was probably my favorite part because I just think it's just such a fun stage the preteen stage is just such a fun stage so that is all my advice if you have any other questions just leave it down below and I will answer back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching keep smiling and I'll see you in my next video bye